just as a quick example, I was channel surfing, came across a, a football game that had just ended in a tie. They went into overtime. I had 15 minutes to kill before my movie came on. I said, I bet, I'll sit there and watch this overtime period. And I'm watching it and there's the requisite exchange of possession before you go into sudden death overtime. So they get it to within 50 yards of the goalpost, and so they decide to kick a field goal for the win. And so I'm watching this, oh, this is, it's exciting, right? So then the ball gets hiked, the kick, the ball tumbles, and it heads towards the left upright, careens off the left post and in for the win. And I said, wait a minute, ooh. We have a round ball on a cylindrical uh, thing, so fractions of an inch matter which way this will bounce off of a post. So I said, let me check this out. So I checked the orientation of the stadium, the latitude of the city, and I did a calculation and then I tweeted. And I said, the winning field goal by the Cincinnati Bengals in overtime was likely enabled by a third of an inch drift to the right enabled by Earth's rotation. And people say, oh my God, blow my mind. Oh, and the local news got it, everybody got it. Of course you wanna know that the rotation of the Earth helped that field goal kick. Because a kick going due north or due south will be deflected to the right in the Northern Hemisphere. And that's exactly what happened to that kick. And I use that as an excuse to send out a second tweet saying, by the way, we call this the Coriolis force, and that's what creates the circulation of all storms, hurricanes, uh, uh, tornadoes, uh, what do they call them in the Pacific, cyclones.